Hello everyone, we will continue the topic field symbols and in the previous video we started with field symbols. What are field symbols? What are the various types of field symbol? What is the syntax for the field symbol? Now what we will do? We will start with the practical part of field symbol. So we will go for very basic example. I will declare one data object or the precisely if I will say I will declare one variable. I will give a default value to the variable. After that, I will declare one field symbol. I will assign that variable or data object to the field symbol. After assigning, I will change the value of the field symbol and it will automatically reflect into data object because this is our definition itself for the field symbol. They are the placeholder. They are the symbolic names for the data object. So once you assign the data objects to the field symbol, after that, whatever you are doing to the field symbol, it will automatically reflect into data object. So I will start with this particular basic program. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. Suppose this is our first program, demo for field symbols. I will go for create. I will give some title to the program. Suppose I will write demo on field symbols. I will choose the type as executable program and I will save it as a local object. I will activate the program. Now, firstly, I will declare one variable, data. You all know the naming conventions which we are following for the variable is lb underscore meaningful name. Suppose I am saying LB underscore data length to suppose numeric type. And suppose I am giving a default value 10. Now you can give the default value by this way also. Or if you want to assign by equal to that is totally your wish. If you do not want to go by this way, you can go by this way also. That is totally your wish. Both have same to same meaning. Now what I will do, I will declare one field symbol. And you all know what is the keyword for the field symbol. It is field symbols. Now I will give some name to the field symbol. And whenever we will give some name to the field symbol, it is always between less than, less than key and greater than key. Suppose my name of the field symbol is fs underscore data. I can give any name. It's my wish. Okay. It's totally, totally our wish. Now, suppose I am saying our field symbol is also of numeric type. And you know now this is your typed field symbol. In the previous video, we covered whenever we are giving the elementary data type, complex data type to the field symbol, that is called as your typed field symbol. And we gave a elementary data type numeric to this particular field symbol. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Sorry, it is LB underscore data. 
I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now what we will do, now we will learn how to assign this data object to this particular field symbol. We all know variable is a data object itself. So what is the syntax for the same? Assign is the keyword. Whenever you want to assign the data object to the field symbol, assign is the keyword. Now, what is the name of your data object? LV underscore data. Now we will assign to the field symbol. So I will write to and what is the name of our field symbol? It is FS underscore data. Now, after assigning, always make a practice that you will check that field symbol is assigned or not. This is always the best practice. Suppose simple example, we are always, always uncommenting the exceptions. Why we are uncommenting the exceptions? So if some exception triggered, at least we will not get the runtime error if we are uncommenting the exception. Same thing is here. If field symbol is not assigned, so if you will check that field symbol is assigned or not, at least we will not get the runtime error. So always make a practice after assigning the field symbols, after assigning the data objects to the field symbol, check that field symbol is assigned or not. So how we will check the assign, assignment of the field symbol? If, what is the name of your field symbol? If fs underscore data is assigned. Always make a practice. So you will check the assignment of the field symbol because in, in our, because what will happen if due to some other things, if field symbol is not assigned and if you have not checked, system will throw the runtime error. And for a customer, this is a one of the worst thing if customer saw the runtime error. So if current output is not coming, still that is acceptable by the customer, but customer never like the runtime error. So that's why we are always uncommenting the exceptions so that if something wrong will happen, at least runtime error will not come. If due to some scenario, this field symbol is not assigned, this data object is not assigned to this particular field symbol, in our future videos, we will understand lots of cases where due to these, these scenarios, field symbol will not assign. So in that case, if you check this, at least system will not throw the runtime error. Now, if field symbol is assigned, now what we will do? We will write and if. Now we will change the value. Now we assigned this data object to the field symbol. So what I will do now I'm writing FS underscore data is equal to 20. Now I'm passing the value 20 to the field symbol. And yes, now I will simply, simply write, suppose I'm writing LV underscore data. Once I will show you in the debugging mode, it will give you more, more clarity. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now I will show you the full process in the debugging mode. But as of now, what we did in the program, I took one data object, which has a default value tab. I declared one field symbol. I assigned the data object to the field symbol. I checked, yes, field symbol is assigned or not. This data object assigned to field symbol or not. And this is always the best programming practice. Now, 
आई एम पासिंग ए न्यू वैल्यू टू द फील्ड सिंबल नाउ वेन एवर आई विल सी द रिजल्ट दिस ट्वेंटी विल रिफ्लेक्ट इन टू डेटा ऑब्जेक्ट एक्सेल I will show you in the debugging mode. Step by step, I will show you. I am putting a breakpoint. I will run. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now I will show you LV underscore data. It is zero as of now. now as of now field symbol has not assigned yet if i will double click you will simply simply see i am getting a error itself field symbol is not yet assigned not yet assigned now i am doing f6 have you seen the value of lv data is 10 now i am assigning the data object to the field symbol i am doing f6 now we assign the data object to the field symbol now it is successfully assigned you can check yes size sub rc is 0 now if i will show you fs underscore data have you seen it is also 10 yes now this field symbol is pointing to the content of the data object this field symbol is pointing to the content of the data object now if this condition is true yes our this field symbol is successfully assigned yes now what we are doing i am passing 20 to the field symbol now this field symbol is pointing to the content of this particular data object now if i will do something to this field symbol it will automatically reflect into lv underscore data because this is what we covered the field symbols are pointing to the contents of the data object and after assignment whatever if you will address the field symbol yes it will automatically address your data object itself now i am doing f6 have you seen i assign 20 to the field symbol but lv data automatically becomes 20 now if i am writing yes the output is 20 cell so this is the way how field symbols worked so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we covered three to four important point from the initial level of field symbols itself so what we did i declared one field symbol i assigned a value to the data object default value how you can assign a data object to the field symbol the syntax is assign your data object to field symbol never never forget to check that your your field symbol is assigned or not so how you can go if your data object is assigned to field symbol or not so how you can check if your field symbol is assigned this is important because it will avoid your run time error in the future whenever we will proceed yes we have so many scenarios in which field symbol will not assign successfully so if you will not check system will throw the run time error so after that what we did after assigned whatever i will do to the field symbol it will automatically reflect into data object i assigned a value 20 to the field symbol and it's automatically changed into data object itself and we check the output it is working perfectly fine so that's it in this particular video thank you